Methylene is a gaseous photohormone, which is produced within climacteric fruits, such as tomatoes, figs, bananas, apples, and pears. So what does it do? Ethylene initiates the ripening process of the fruit, it is responsible for the opening and senescence of flowers, the abscission of leaves, and shoot and root growth. The ancient Egyptians gashed figs to stimulate ethylene production, which helped the figs ripen more quickly. In 1901, Neljabov, a Russian plant physiologist, noticed that the plants around the streetlights that leaked illuminating gas ripened more quickly than the others. He proved that the active principle in the leaked illuminating gas that was causing the increased rate of ripening was ethylene. Further scientific discoveries in 1934 and 35 by scientists Gain and Crocker identified that ethylene was produced within plants and that ethylene acts as a plant hormone that stimulates the ripening and inhibition of vegetative tissues. Our topic was to study the chemical and physiological changes of ripening in tomatoes as a result of the ethylene. Physically, the tomato tissue softens and changes in colour from green to red. Lycopene accumulation, a red pigment, is responsible for this change in colour. Chemically, there is an increase in sugars and a decrease in acidity. This is what determines the flavour of the tomato. So what are these conditions for ethylene production? Thanks, Chris. That's a good question. Temperature needs to be above 16 degrees to initiate ethylene production. This is coupled with the climacteric rise, which is an increased rate of respiration. As seen in the graph, an exponential increase in ethylene is accompanied by an increase in CO2, which results from respiration. So how does it work? What's going on inside the tomato? Well, it occurs through the process of ethylene signaling. Within the tomato cells, ethylene non-cohesively rebounds off the protein complex receptors located on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The ethylene receptors send a signal through a downstream pathway towards the nucleus, which results in changes in gene expression and the ripening of the tomato. Physical and chemical changes caused by this process include accumulation of lycopene, a decrease in acidity, and accumulation of sugars. So what can we do to stop or slow this ripening? Great question, Jimmy. 1-MTP treatment is a post-harvest chemical treatment to increase shelf life of tomatoes. This inhibits downstream ethylene signals. In our experiment, we sprayed 1-MCP on test tomatoes with this chemical. What effect does 1-MCP have on this downstream signaling? Well, Mel, 1-MCP bonds covalently to the protein complex receptor, blocking and inhibiting ethylene signal, thus delaying the ripening process. How does a tomato ripen once ethylene signaling has been prevented using 1-MCP? Climacteric fruits continuously produce new protein complex receptors. This is what allows ethylene signaling to occur once the 1-MCP has been applied. Check out this time lapse to compare the difference between tomatoes treated with 1-MCP and those that were not. This is our time lapse. You will see untreated tomatoes and 1-MCP tomatoes ripening, starting off at the breaker stage. The breaker stage, stage 2, is classified visually by 10% or less of the color orange being present. This time lapse represents a 19 day period. As you have seen, the untreated tomatoes ripened at a faster rate than the 1-MCP tomatoes. As discussed earlier, this is a direct result of 1-MCP binding to the protein complex receptors inhibiting ethylene signaling. 1-MCP is a post-harvest loss prevention technique that is highly effective in increasing the shelf life of tomatoes. This is important because tomatoes are of high demand all year round. They are extremely perishable when completely ripened. This technique slows ripening, which increases output efficiency. Up to 40% of the world's farm produce is lost before reaching a point of consumption. Some sources say that reducing this waste could alleviate hunger. Preventing ethylene buildup is extremely important to post-harvest loss prevention. 1-MCP is very effective in doing so. It's used in various chemical treatments such as ethyl block and smart fresh. Hopefully this video has given you some insight into one of the very important processes behind fruit ripening, ethylene signaling, and how 1-MCP can be used to prevent this and in turn prevent loss of agricultural products.